Today is Sunday, January the 2nd, 2022. A warm welcome to the channel, and I hope you had a marvellous new year. I managed to watch the new James Bond movie and was really shocked to see that James Bond actually died in the movie. I didn't really like Daniel Craig, to be very honest. Pierce Brosnan was my favourite Bond. He had a certain je ne sais pas, je ne sais quoi, something elegant, stylish, manly about him. And I'm doing this with no air conditioning, so I don't have to reduce any of the noise. So I may start sweating on my face here. That's why I wipe like that. Hey. <laughs> How honest can you get on YouTube? And I also watched Fast and Furious 9, actually, yesterday. And oh, it passed the time. A little bit long. One or two good stumps. But it just went to, like, unbelievable to really totally unbelievable. The originals were best. The new Spider-Man movie, I'm very happy to say it made one million, one billion dollars in box office sales without China. So Hollywood, you don't need to pamper to the Chinese market and just do movies for it. Just do the old style. If you look at Mission Impossible, here's a great example that now it's so different to the original and how it's meant to be with the original, with Mission Impossible 1, way back in 1996, 1997. But I hope it's a wake-up call to Hollywood. I'm sort of digressing a bit, and today I'm actually going to go and get a haircut. On next week, I really need to get my teeth cleaned and pay off my credit card very exciting life I lead and I really really this year want to start to do some travel videos but I refuse to travel with um, when it's too much hassle to I just want to get to the airport get on a plane land with my GoPro do a review of the airport do a review of the flight and then what's going to happen. Mainly, obviously, it's just going to be next door to Thailand. I know there's many Western Thai vloggers out there. And let's hop into what we're all here for. Why did 28,000 rivers in China suddenly disappear? First of all, let's have a look at the map of China and you can see oh, <laughs> Taiwan's not there oh it's a very good map it's the correct map and you can see the main rivers there the two main being the Yangtze and also the yellow the Yangtze being in the center the yellow being at the top just having a quick cup of coffee hold on mm. now ladies and gentlemen it's time for the reading without any edits and it goes like this. China's longest rivers, the Yangtze and Yellow, have each seen declining water level in recent years. But the government survey, the most comprehensive to date, may shed new light and breathe gravity on the country's crisis. According to the South China Morning Post, Officials attributed the decline to global warming and outdated mapping techniques, saying previous estimates were based on incomplete topological maps of the 1950s. Experts, meanwhile, say there are more direct factors at play, namely explosive economic development and poor environmental stewardship. Together, they form a potential disastrous combination. China's mushrooming population has added extra strain to its limited water supply, while the country's rampant industrialization has left many rivers contaminated. The extent of China's pollution problem was laid bare in grisly fashion 
a couple of years ago when more than 12,000 dumped pig carcasses were washed ashore in Shanghai in, and Xinjiang. Agricultural and industrial waste has had a pronounced human impact as well as condominating, I can't get my words out today, contaminating water supplies in so-called cancer villages. China's modern water management system dates back to the 1960s, when a series of devastating floods forced Mao to commission an array of dams, reservoirs and spillways. Mao's infrastructure helped prevent floods, but also created ecological imbalances by blocking rivers that once flowed into the North China Plain. As a result, lakes and rivers in the region began drying up and farmers began depleting well supplies. In 2008, we talk always about the Free Gorges Dam, the massive Hangzhou power plant that was held a marvel of engineering. Today, this plant in the world the largest in the world, has disastrous social effects, disastrous ec ecological effects, resulting in a deadly landslides and displacing more than 1.4 million people. Well, I'm glad that is over. Let's go into some of the regular features and here comes the levels and the weather in central China for today and the next coming days for the weather. Let's have a look at the levels for today. And Kutan is gone up once again at 170.81. And the Free Gorges Reservoir itself has gone up as well to 170.47. So these levels are actually really strange because you cannot see at the beginning of this week a drop of rain anywhere in central China. Only a pitter patter, no heavy rain at all. You can see where the hand is, is where the Free Gorges Dam is approximately. There will be some rain coming, but nothing serious along the Yangtze River. So you ask the question, why are the levels seeming to go up when they should actually go down? And I do actually have a comment that I'm sharing with you for today. And it comes from a name that I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Happy New Year, James. I love CM Rip. I would like to know that foreigners, that if foreigners can buy property in uh, Cambodia, freehold. So, yeah. And let me give you an article that I found that may make it a bit easier for you to understand. There are six and safe methods that foreigners can buy and own their land and land property in Cambodia. One, setting up a land holding company. Two, via legal trust companies, banks or solicitors. Nominee family, acquiring Cambodian citizenship by marriage, naturalization or donation, or a long-term lease up to 50 years. And finally, land concession by government up to 50 years. That brings us to a close for today. Thank you, as always, for your time, if you got this far in the video. And don't forget to buy a mug not this mug i'm sorry not this mug but there are some mugs for sale you can see a picture there for it 15 dollars. it's my merch and the money doesn't go to my pocket or my business partner in the united states of america we're just trying to do this to raise money to see if we can give money to or not money some proceeds of the money to an orphan orphanage here in cambodia i'm not too sure how many we sold and now is new year christmas is over the family ties have gone for another year so this is the perfect 
opportunity when you watch this show in the morning to have your coffee with the James Neil Cooper Channel Coffee Cup. The James Neil Cooper Coffee Cup. Tokyo is fine. He's sleeping just for an update in the bedroom. And Soapy is relaxing downstairs, I think, watching some Cambodian soap opera on Facebook or something like that. Not too sure. Have a great day. And if you are going to work soon, enjoy the work in the new year. It always starts off slowly, if I remember correctly. But be well, be safe, be happy. Give a kiss to the person that, or the people that you love. And just say to them, what I need. Don't say that, it's Chinese. Just say, I love you. And then they will love you more. <laughs> Thank you. Be good.